Hello everybody, my name is Bandersnitch and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic overlay for any Clash Royale gameplay so that you can spice up your look a little and show you off your personality. So without further ado, we're going to go real quick and uh, don't be afraid to pause the video. I'm going to leave a link in the description for all of the uh, things that I use, uh, mainly just GIMP. It's a free image editing software and a website for text generation and stuff like that if you need it. So. Let's get started. So first we're gonna go to uh, GIMP, create a new image at uh, 1920 by 1080, that's your standard resolution for uh, YouTube, and uh, put that in transparency. Uh, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go to view, show grid. Now those dots are, your grid is way too small, so we're gonna go down to image, configure grid, and we're gonna to wanna to do those by about 36 by 36. Oh, <laughs> and see, it does that for you. Next, we're gonna to wanna to go to view, click snap to grid. Now gra grab a new toolbox. Uh, mine likes to disappear on me, so you might see me open that a few times. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so grab yourself a nice large area first. And that's gonna be the side where you put your face and all that other image uh, stuff, you know, like where you can be found, uh, your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube channel, any other text you wanna add. So what we're gonna do next is we go down here to our color palette and we'll just grab two colors. I'm gonna grab a light blue and a dark blue just to kind of go along with that uh, Clash Royale aesthetic. I'm gonna make that a little bit bit more like that there we go that's better and then what we really want to do is don't just grab yourself an area like that I was totally wrong don't don't there you go don't do that now just take your gradient line and just drag it down until you think that's nice next take a nice decent chunk you want to leave the left side a little bit larger than the right side so that's good uh, you know We'll do it a little bit bigger. And we're going to clear that out. Now this is going to be the space for your gameplay. Um, typically, uh, it's going to be a bit smaller than that, but I'm not going to do the precise measurements. This is just a basic tutorial on how to make the overlay. Uh, I'm relying on you to do your measurements for yourself. I know you can do it. I believe in you. So, next. Grab yourself a little space in here. Right? Uh, that's not big enough. A little bit bigger. I think that's good. And we're just gonna copy that. Then we're gonna paste a Rooney right there. That's all good. And uh, take the center of that and just edit, cut that out. So what's next, right? You want a little, little flare. You wanna add a little something to the sides, you know, cause you see a lot of people do that and you wanna express yourself. So what you do, is you go to Google <laughs> and you find yourself a PNG of any Clash Royale thing um, that you want if you're doing Clash Royale, if you're doing different kinds of games. Cool, uh, use those images. I chose this Angry King. So you'll notice he's a bit big. Select all, copy, and then discard the changes and get rid of that one. We don't need that anymore. And wow, he is way too large. So we're gonna scale him down to a, a much more appropriate size. Um, we're gonna scale that, and I think we're gonna have to scale it again. He's not gonna look too pretty. That king lost a lot of weight. He's still a bit too big. But you know what, just for tutorial's sake, I'm gonna throw him on the side. Now, if you don't want them to fit perfectly in this area, that is okay. We can add him at a border to make it look like he's kind of protruding out onto the battlefield just a little bit. Or if you want to leave the little bit of extra space there, that's totally fine. So I'm going to show you how to add that border. First, you're going to select that area. You're going to copy, or well, you can cut it out actually. Then we're going to new. Same thing, same size. Transparency background. Remember that. Next, paste that into your new area. 
and anchor your selection by just clicking anywhere that's not on the image there. Grab your fuzzy select tool and double click that. You're going to want to take your threshold all the way up, all the way up to 255, close that little dialog box, and then click on that. That should select your image here. Next, go to select, go to grow, and just for this tutorial, I think I want to do it by 10 so it's a little bit more visible. And you'll see that it has, the outline has grown a little bit. So next, you want to go to your dockable dialogues up in the Windows category up there. Uh, layers. Add a new layer. We'll call this uh, backing. Just like that. Make sure transparency is ticked. And we're going to move that behind the background. Now go down your pe color palette again and go up and just choose some colors you like. Uh, we're going to do uh, like a very yeah, uh, white to yellow, white to kind of a dandelion. Uh, I feel like that's pretty enough. Grab your gradient tool. You can just do a solid color if you want, but I think the gradients look kind of nice. Now look at that. Pretty snazzy, right? But we're going to make it a little bit better. We're going to select all again. Then we're going to go to cut. Oh, I skipped a step. Undo that cut. Go back to your layers. Click background and click merge down. That makes it one image so that we can do the next thing. So now we can cut all of that and then we can repaste it. And that's just gonna select around all of that so that we don't accidentally clip off any of the tops here so that it's nice and consistent. Next, we're gonna go up to filters. Then we're gonna go to decor and add a bevel. This is going to make it pop out a little bit, you know, like those poofy stickers you would get with cereal boxes a while ago. I don't really... Or just poofy stickers that you can buy. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to drag it up to 24 because I like just thicker look. And then you hit OK. That'll run through a script. And as you can see, now it looks a little bit more rounded. Adds a little bit of shading. As you can see down here, it looks a little better with the darker colors. Um, so next, you take that, you copy it, and then discard your changes, discard your changes, you don't need those boxes anymore, and you can, now you can just paste that right into that, and look, it looks a million times better already, and just drag that to the side. Now, yep, right there. Now we're going to do the same thing to both sides. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to skip this side. Nope. Actually, I'm going to do this side, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to put that all the way over the side, and we're going to leave the yellow on the outside. Now, this is going to mess up your measurements just a little bit. That is okay. Uh, we'll fix that in a few moments. Next, you're going to want to copy this. Now, we're going to do something pretty similar, but a little bit different. Actually, you can just cut it. Why not? Uh, then you go new and don't forget to make sure that transparency is on because that resets itself every time and then we're gonna go in we're gonna select we're gonna paste now if you don't want this to be the same color and instead of just looking like a protrusion you can really make it your own by adding some new colors to it seriously use your imagination have fun with it that's the whole goal of this to just show your personality so I'm gonna go with this purple, because I like purple. And I think I'm gonna go with a bit of a darker blue. Uh, not too dark though, because we are going to be adding something that is going to darken it just a little bit. So I'm gonna actually, we'll go with uh, that. I like that. So we'll just go corner to corner. Oh, and isn't that pretty? So next we go to filters and we can just repeat add bevel. That makes that pretty nice, right? Well, we're gonna make it look a little bit cooler. And you don't have to do this next part if you don't want to. So next we go to light and shadow, and then we go to drop shadow. You're gonna wanna set uh, offset X to 10, offset Y to 10, and a blur radius of about 30. Leave the opacity at uh, 60 or 70 is pretty good. 
we'll leave it at the standard 60. And as you can see, it's gonna do that. And next, what you do is you just take that whole thing, edit, and if you cut it, you'll see that your shadow is still there. So, in order to do get that, yeah, okay. So what you can do is now you can merge them down and you'll have one little consistent image right here. Cut that out. Discard the changes on that one. Discard the changes on that one. We don't need second tries. Now, it gets a little complicated here, but it's not too bad. You can take this. Uh, there are also ways you can uh, round the edges if you want, but that's totally up to you. And let's see, we're gonna copy, oh no, oopsie. I don't think we copied anything. All right, and we'll grab that. No, God. Oh, God. All right, we'll just, we'll fix our mistakes. Edit, copy, and then paste. Now, we want to get our measurements right, and we don't want to get rid of that shadow. So we'll just put that there. And as you can see, it is just a tad bit off. So what you want to do is you want to zoom in, get all nice and snug with it. And you can just go ahead and go right up to the corners. This is just a little bit of a, a cheat, really. And then you edit, cut that out. And you'll notice you're missing your shadow, but that's OK. We're just using that as a guide. Then we paste that in. I'm not sure if there is an easier way to do this. Like I said, this is a somewhat of a beginner tutorial. These are mostly things that I've learned on my own. And then you can just put that right there and look, perfect. So if we zoom out, uh, we've got a nice little box for whatever you want to put there. I know a lot of people like to put the Clash Royale thing up here. Um, we're not going to be doing that, but we are going to be doing a name. So I do have a site you can go to. It's uh, called glowtext.com. So it's uh, glowtxt.com. And you'll see it'll pull up this right here, your text here. Uh, they have a, a bunch of different things. Um, I personally really like this electric blue one. I've already used it. And uh, you can just go ahead and type whatever your name is, like uh, Mick Shizzle. If your name is Mick Shizzle, shout out to you, son. And look at that. You also have a bunch of different patterns to go by. Oh, I, I really like that one. That's kind of cosmic-y. So I'll save that image as, and it will be a really long name, so just name it whatever you want. And save that to your desktop or wherever you want to keep all your images and stuff like that. Bring that down. Open up your new name. Go to that image. Oh. Select all. Edit. Copy. We can get rid of it now. Edit. Paste. And now I feel like that's a bit too small, so we'll use our uh, resizing tool or scaling tool. We'll just make that a little bit bigger. I think that's good. Yeah, look at that. Mix shizzle right there. Perfect. Now this will protrude over your face a little bit if you put, put your face cam in there. So if you don't want, you can just put it down like that or underneath it. I personally like it doing that. I like all the layers. It looks nice. All right, so now you want to add your uh, information down here, right? So Google is your friend in this, in this case. Um, I think, yep, I have a Twitter logo right here. So we'll go back to GIMP. We'll open up that new Twitter thing. That's yeah, right there. It does have a bit of a transparency, but for time's sake, we're just gonna use this one anyway. So we'll cut that out, discard the changes, edit, 
paste. Then you rescale to your desired size. Um, I like to personally try and fit them in a nice little area, like evenly. I'm really kind of OCD about that stuff. Um, this isn't going to look too, too shabby, but then you can just, you know, down here, enter your information. You can add text, but GIMP is pretty limited on what kinds of text you can use. So you can also go to just, uh, I think it's, a, you just go to Google, google.com. Then you just type in cool text. And as you can see, it's already there. You tip, type, ugh. click that one up there and you can find whatever ones you want. So we're gonna go with Keen. I like Keen. And we're just gonna say forward slash Mick Shizzle Man. Um, and then you can change the colors however you want. You click create logo. And then you download it. Show that in my finder real quick because that's always gonna end up in your downloads. If you're using a Mac, you can just throw that on your desktop. Bring all that fun stuff down. And same thing. Rinse, repeat, my friends. Grab your new McShizzle logo. Select all. Cut over here. Let me discard the changes on that one. Grab your uh, selector tool and then paste that. If it's too big, don't be afraid to resize it. I'm not going to do this with all of the extra stuff. And then you would just fit that down there. Here, let's see if we can make that look a little bit nicer. And then wabam. This is your basic setup for any way you want to do it. I know this is really simple and there are a lot of things that you can add and you can customize. It just takes a little bit of experimenting and your imagination. So I'm going to show you this uh, mostly finished product without the nasty little grid over it. And look at that. Not too bad. Your face will go in here. You can have more information than this down here, you know, all up in that area. Uh, your gameplay will be here and, you know, just more decoration over here. Really show yourself. I'm going to show you mine that I made not too long ago um, for a video and most of my Clash videos that I will come out with at some point uh, will be using the new one that I made. So we'll just go over into my video folder. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Is that, I think that's the finished one. There you go. And then you can make something like that. If you want those uh, line effects, I'll tell you now. Uh, all you have to do before you put in your stuff like this, your border, uh, you go into filters, then you go to light and shadow and you add supernova. And then you just plop one right in the middle there and then cut that section out, leave the lines there and put your stuff right there. But anyway, uh, I really hope that this video will help you, uh, future creators, um, gamers, anyone, uh, to really show your personality on your videos. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and um, have a good freaking day. Bye bye.